All right, get ready to dive deep, everybody, into the world of robot vacuums. We're taking a look at the iRobot Roomba i3 Plus EVO today. You sent us a page from Amazon, and we're going to break it all down. The features, what users are saying about it, is it really as good as it seems? You know, it's amazing. Just one Amazon page, they pack in so much, the specs, all the marketing stuff, and then tons of reviews from people who actually bought it. Totally. And that automatically empties its bin for up to 60 days. That really caught my eye. Can you imagine two whole months without thinking about vacuuming? Busy people everywhere are rejoicing. Right. But that's marketing. Does it actually work like that? That's what those user reviews are for. For sure. Okay. So besides not having to empty it all the time, this i3 Plus has this dirt detect technology. So instead of just like randomly bumping around, it focuses on cleaning the dirtier areas, right? Yeah. It's a step up from those older robot vacuums that just kind of wandered around aimlessly. The i3 Plus uses sensors so it knows where the dirt is. And no more bumping around like crazy. The i3 Plus cleans in neat rows for a more thorough clean. Yeah. And those neat rows, that's not just about looks. It means the i3 Plus can actually cover more ground and not miss as many spots. Like think about wiping down a counter just randomly versus really scrubbing it clean. OK. And get this. It uses something called imprint smart mapping. You can tell it which rooms to clean and when. So like I could have it clean the kitchen every morning right after breakfast. Yeah. You can totally customize it, which people really like. Tech that works for you, not the other way around. And then it gives you personalized cleaning suggestions too. Almost like it knows what I need. Maybe not mind reading yet. Yeah. But it learns your habits, your cleaning routines. It's using AI to make life easier. And that's happening more and more. Oh, and for all the pet owners out there, the i3 Plus is designed to handle pet hair. Dual multi-surface rubber brushes gone are the days of tangled bristle brushes am i right absolutely rubber brushes pet hair won't get stuck and clog the vacuum genius of course you got to have voice control these days the i3 plus works with alexa siri google assistant hey google tell Roomba to clean up the living room like something out of a movie that's the key right it's got to be easy to use integrated with what people already have make it effortless one thing to note the i3 Plus needs a 2.4 gigahertz network. So for anyone with a complicated home network, that might be something to look into. But once you're set up, the iRobot OS and that iRobot Home app, you've got complete control. You can personalize everything. And the app is supposed to be really user friendly. Yeah, you're in the driver's seat with that app. Customize it exactly how you want, which is a big reason people love the i3 Plus. Well. Sounds great so far. But what about people who are actually using this thing? Does it live up to the hype? Time to check out those customer reviews. Yeah, that's the real test, right? Got to hear from the folks using it every day. What are they saying? Well, looks like a lot of positive feedback. People are saying it cleans really well and it's easy to use. Yeah, people seem impressed with how well it picks up everything. Dirt, debris, pet hair, and they love the self-emptying bin. Plus, they say the app is very intuitive. Sounds like iRobots really solved some of those annoying things about vacuuming. But like any product, not everything is perfect. Some people have some concerns. Is it really worth the price? Are there some issues with how it works? Makes sense. So what kind of issues are people talking about? Well, a few people said the navigation isn't always perfect, especially in homes with a lot of stuff or a more complicated layout. And there were a few mentions of connectivity issues with the app. Yeah, even with all the AI stuff, those robot vacuums still got to navigate our homes. It's like expecting a self-driving car to handle rush hour in a construction zone. Exactly. That mapping technology is great, but it's not perfect. You still need to keep things relatively tidy for it to work its best. So it's not something you can completely ignore once it's set up. Not completely. You still need to do a little maintenance here and there. Hmm. Think of it as a partnership you and the i3 Plus working together to keep your home clean. What about the price concerns? This isn't exactly cheap. Definitely not. And some people do feel like the i3 Plus is a little pricey, especially because of those occasional glitches. I get that. It's a lot of money for a vacuum, even a fancy one. I guess you have to decide what's important to you. For some people, that convenience and having a robot do the cleaning is totally worth it. Exactly. Do you vary your time? Do you really want a clean home? Sometimes you can't put a price on that. OK, so we've covered the marketing, the tech specs, and the general vibe from those reviews. But let's get specific. What are people actually saying? What are their experiences? Well, one thing that keeps coming up is how the i3 Plus handles pet hair. Most people are happy, but some mention it has trouble with those bigger clumps of fur, especially if their pet sheds a lot. That's a good point. Even the best robot vacuum might not be perfect for pet hair. Right. We got to be realistic. 
They're for regular cleaning, not like a deep clean. It's a helpful tool to keep things tidy, but you might still need to do some manual cleaning yourself sometimes. So for pet owners, it's more like a helping hand, not a complete replacement. Exactly. Great for everyday pet hair, but for those really big messes, you might need your regular vacuum too, like a tag team taking care of all that fur. It sounds like the i3 Plus is pretty impressive, but like anything, it's got pros and cons. For sure. It gives us a little glimpse into the future of home automation, all that cleaning power and the smart features. But if you're thinking about buying one, really think about what you need, what you expect it to do. Okay, so we've looked at the features, the specs, the reviews. What does this all mean for our listener who's thinking about getting this robot vacuum? I'd say if you're looking for an easy and convenient way to keep your house clean, the i3 Plus EVO is definitely worth considering. It's got a lot going for it. The self-emptying bin, the smart mapping, those personalized suggestions. It's almost like having a little cleaning buddy who knows what you need. But it's not a magic well, solution, right? Right. Be realistic about what it can do. You still gotta do some maintenance. And if your pet sheds a lot, you might need your regular vacuum sometimes. It's a great tool, but it still needs you. So is the Roomba i3 plus EVO the robot vacuum of your dreams? You decide. We've given you all the info. Weigh those pros and cons. Does it fit your needs, your budget? You're armed with knowledge now. Go forth and conquer those dust bunnies. But before you do, our expert has one last thought-provoking question for you. It's wild how fast this tech is changing. Imagine robot vacuums that don't just clean, but they know what you need, what you like, and they work perfectly with all your other smart home stuff. Totally effortless. The i3 Plus is just the beginning. What other cool innovations are coming? The future of cleaning is looking pretty bright. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the world of the iRobot Roomba i3 Plus EVO. Mm -hmm. Until next time, happy cleaning. You know, going back to those reviews for a second, one thing really stood out to me. Some people said the i3 Plus had a tough time with, like, those really big clumps of pet hair, especially if the pet sheds a lot. Oh, so even with those special rubber brushes, it's not a miracle worker. Right. It's good to remember, even with all the fancy tech, gotta be realistic. Robot vacuums are great, but they're still machines, you know? Need a little help sometimes, especially with pet hair. So it's more like, it helps you keep things tidy, but you still need to do a real deep clean yourself every so often. Yeah, exactly. Think of it as like you and the i3 Plus are a team. It takes care of the everyday dust and stuff so you don't have to. Then you come in for the heavy duty cleaning. Okay, so we've talked about the marketing stuff, the techie details, the good and the bad, even the pet hair situation. What's the takeaway for someone listening who's trying to decide, should I get this i3 Plus app? I think it comes down to this. If you want a convenient, easy way to keep your home pretty clean, the i3 Plus EVO is a really good option. It's got a lot of great features, that self-emptying bin, the smart mapping. It even gives you personalized cleaning tips, almost like having a little cleaning assistant. But as we've been saying, it's not going to solve all your cleaning problems, yeah, right? Definitely not. You still need to do some maintenance. And yeah, if you have a pet that sheds like crazy, you'll probably still need your regular vacuum sometimes. It's a helpful tool, but it's not perfect. So is the Roomba i3 Plus EVO the robot vacuum of your dreams? That's up to you to decide. We've given you all the info. And while you're thinking about it, here's something to consider. Imagine robot vacuums that not only clean, but they learn what you like, what you need, and they work with all your other smart home stuff. No effort at all. The i3 Plus is just the start. What other amazing things are coming in the future? The future of cleaning? Pretty exciting stuff. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the iRobot Roomba i3 Plus EVO. Until next time, happy cleaning. So it sounds like the i3 Plus, it's got a lot going for it. But it's not like a magic solution for everyone, right? It depends on what you need. Exactly. And that's why we do these deep dives, giving you the information so you can decide for yourself. Yeah. We've looked at all the features, the tech behind it, what real people are saying. Now it's up to you, our listener, to decide, is this the robot vacuum you've been waiting for? And as you think about it, one less thing to consider. We talked about how the i3 Plus learns your cleaning patterns, gives you those personalized suggestions. But imagine, what if it went even further, not just learning your habits, but actually anticipating what you need? Oh, wow. That's interesting. Like knowing to clean up under the high chair after every meal, even if I forgot to tell it to. Right. Or maybe sensing when you're having guests over and giving the living room a quick clean before they arrive. So many possibilities. It's pretty cool. Like a little robot butler keeping your home spotless. I want one. It's a glimpse into the future of home automation, really. Yeah. And it all starts with understanding the tech we have now, like this 
iRobot Roomba i3 Plus EVO. Well said. Thanks for joining us for this deep dive. Hopefully you've got all the info you need to decide if the i3 Plus is right for you. Until next time, happy cleaning.